1957, eastern Kentucky had a huge flood. January 29th through February 3rd, 1957, the headwaters of the Big Sandy River and the Cumberland River were overflowing their banks from the massive amount of rain. Several cities, including Pikeville, were completely underwater. This caused food shortages and people had to be evacuated from their homes without their belongings. Water supplies were contaminated and there was no gas for cooking. Mudslides and floodwaters made the roads impassable. Nine people died from the flooding and 597 homes were destroyed with over 10,000 structures having major damage in the entire flooded area. The 1957 flood is recorded as one of the worst natural disasters in the state of Kentucky. In 1960, Dr. William Hambly wanted to relocate the railroad that went through the city of Pikeville, Kentucky. His proposal was that the railway needed to be moved because of the amount of dust from the coal cars that was being dumped on Pike County every day. In 1963, due to Hamley's efforts, a federal grant of $38,000 was given to Pikeville for a study to see if such a move was possible. Pikeville was named a model city by the Model Cities Agency to generate more funding for the project. In 1965, this idea expanded to include the Appalachian Development Highway System for Corridor B. This would ensure for the construction of the cut-through for the city. Along with this expansion would come the decision to move the La Vista Fork of the Big Sandy River. This was proposed to help curb the damage that the city of Pikeville had experienced for many years due to floodwaters. Once the riverbed was filled in and reclaimed, it would give the city a potential building site for future businesses and other projects. To solve the many issues that the city of Pikeville had concerning flooding, a highway, and lack of space for the city, and a railway, the Pikeville Cut-Through project was proposed. The project would be handled in three phases, but before the project could begin, disaster struck. On April the 2nd through the 5th of 1977, there was a record rainfall over the Appalachian Mountains. Once again, the region would be facing record amount of floodwaters. The La Vista Fork of the Big Sandy River Basin and the Cumberland River would flood their banks. 22 people would die in the flood and the loss of property would be estimated in 1977's currency as being $400 million for the entire affected region. In Phase 1, Peach Orchard Mountain would be split in half to create a channel for the railway, river, and highway. Construction began on November the 26th, 1973. There was 13 million cubic yards of solid rock that was removed from the mountain. The final cost of Phase 1 was $17,250,000 at its completion. Construction began for Phase 2 on March the 4th, 1980. The La Vesta Fork of the Big Sandy River was rerouted and the riverbed was filled in. Coal temples and railroad tracks were removed and relocated from downtown Pikeville. Five million cubic yards of soil was moved to fill the riverbed and create 240 acres of new land for the city of Pikeville to use in their expansion projects. The final cost of Phase 3 would be $22,200,000. Construction began on Phase 3 on March 15, 1983. In downtown Pikeville, there would be a new flood wall, new bridges, downtown interchanges, and a former railroad bed would be changed into Hambly Boulevard. An additional 150 acres would be added to the city of Pikeville for future projects. The final cost of this phase of the project would come in at $19,700,000. The final tally for the construction project was astounding. Created by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, this project moved nearly 18 million cubic yards of soil and rock. It is held as one of the largest civil engineering projects of the Western Hemisphere, only coming in second to the Panama Canal that moved 240 million cubic yards of soil. The Pikeville cut-through features a four-lane highway, 
moving of the La Vista Fork of the Big Sandy River, and a railway. At its completion on October the 2nd, 1987, at a cost of $77.6 million at the time, the Pikeville cut-through is 1,300 feet wide, 3,700 feet long, and 523 feet deep. The overlook sits atop of Amos Park on a beautiful mountain. The park features a YMCA, river trails, a hiking trail, horseshoe arena area, walking track, soccer fields, baseball fields, canoeing, paddle boating, tubing, as well as a paintball field. Mayor William Carter Hambly, M.D., is often touted as the man who moved the mountain for his city. He was a surgeon and well-respected doctor before his tenure as a mayor. Hamley was able to organize 20 federal, state, and local agencies into completing the task for the Pikeville Cut-Through Project. He oversaw each phase of the project to make sure that it stayed on task. A monument now stands in Pikeville City Park in his honor for the work that he did for the city of Pikeville. Hamley served as Pikeville Mayor from the years of 1960 through 1989. Thank you for watching our video, Pikeville Cut-Through Project, located in Pikeville, Kentucky. We thank you for continuing to support Kentucky Tennessee Living as we bring you the history of the Appalachian Mountains. Please like, subscribe, and share below. Also hit the bell for the notifications of future videos. And once again, be sure to leave us a hey y'all in the comment section below. Thank you for continuing to support us and watch our videos.